In contact, each instrument routes its output to exactly one output channel, but you also send this signal to one or multiple aux channels with adjustable levels. This allows you to create submixes and route wet effects signals for further processing and even to another physical output. In today's video tutorial, we'll go over using the aux channel to add reverb to an instrument. And never miss a tutorial by subscribing to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ADSRtoots. So let's start out by going to the output section and going to an aux channel and adding a reverb. Okay. And so to show this the um the parameters I just double clicked on the the uh the name. You could also click uh edit effect that will do the same thing. Okay, so you can either use a preset or change the um change the settings to your liking. Um I'm just gonna choose a let's try the room verb. A new instrument. Stick some. Uh... Just so I have some sound there. Okay, I have some sound. Okay, so now what I need to do is show the aux strips. Um, and to do that, I need to get out of instrument edit mode and then click on aux, okay? So the way to send, um, now this is at the instrument level, mind you, this is the entire instrument. The way to send it is, is to adjust the slider to the aux channel that you're using. So, um, I'm using aux one, so I'm gonna um, give it some. I'm gonna send it at zero. Oops. Or as close to zero as possible, and then I'm gonna use the return here to control the effect. So. All right. Okay, so that's that's how you just uh, use the aux channels. So let's look at how you can um, route a wet effect signal to an aux channel. Okay, so in the uh, output section again, I'm going to use a second aux channel, and I'm going to add a tape saturator. Okay. Um, Okay, so you can either uh, use a preset or just adjust it to something that you like. So I'm going to do a little bit of warm distortion. Okay. Okay, so you can use send effects in the group insert, bus insert, or instrument insert effects um, slot. So, of course, you need to enter instrument edit mode. We'll close outputs for a second so we can um, see this. So you can use send effects either here or you can use it um, here or you can use it uh, here. Okay. The way to use send effects is to use a send levels module. So um, since I already have one in the in insert effects, I'm just going to use that one. Um, actually, I'll take it out just so I can show you how you can add it. So let's just add it into the group insert first slot. Um, send levels. Okay, let me close this 
and close this and close this and close this okay so um, now that I have uh, send levels I am going to add a chorus module okay to send effects okay so I'm gonna add a course here okay I'm going to choose a preset and do I have anything no so I'm just gonna leave it as is default okay now you control the amount of um, of course with uh, the the knob here and then you control the return with the return knob here okay So the trick here is what you want to do is you want to click on this little eye icon here. Now this allows you to send the um, the return effect here to um, one of the aux channels. So I'm going to choose aux two. Okay. Now additionally, um, you could also route the aux channel um, to a different channel um, in your host or your sound card. And I'll show you how to do that um, next. So let's uh, close instrument edit mode and look at the outputs. Okay, so right now, um, aux isn't being routed anywhere, but I can um, send it somewhere. So I'm going to send it to one and two. And right now, um, since my sound card, I'm using the built in Mac, I only have one and two sound cards. But um, if I had a, if I had my uh, Motu plugged in then you would see available channels here so just for um, sake of showing you how to do this I'm just going to choose one and two so right now all of these are being routed somewhere okay let me take this down okay so so now what we have here is we have um, we have this chorus of this instrument we have the the return being routed to this channel and this channel can be routed somewhere else outside of contact and I can further further process it and the reason why I added the tape um, saturator here was to show you that I can further process the signal um, with it being routed somewhere else and being it comes back into the instrument So now we have a chorus and a tape saturator working, and I can control this um, independently of the of the um, the chorus. So the output section in Contact is pretty flexible, and it offers a multitude of ways to process and route your sounds. Um, for more for more flexibility with the aux channels um, at the group level. You can also try using a gainer module as a bridge between the send effects and the aux channels. Um, I'll do another tutorial on how to use the, um, the gainer module to do that. And don't forget to check out our website at www.contacttutorials.com for more contact tutorials and sounds. ADSR contact tutorials, supercharger contact skills. This is DJ Nice signing off until next time. Now go make some music.